What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another exciting episode of Attack Productions. Today, I'm Bangkok joining once again bring you all another deck profile. Not just any deck profile, but Universe 3 from Set 20. Like always, there's buttons down below. Links in the description. Check them out. Let's get into the profile. This is one of those decks where I felt like nobody wanted to play. I didn't hear a lot of people talking about it. And so I figured I would give it a try. I It felt like a kind of like an adjacent deck to the Trio Saiyans and General Roldo. And I'm like, it's, it just has a little... These factors here, and I just don't know if that's going to be good enough to be a deck. And starting with the leader. So this leader originally, I was iffy on. I was like, the back side and the front side feel like they're flipped. So unawaken, you draw one when you attack. When you awaken, you search top five. In most decks that have leaders that do this, it's typically the other way around. So I was a little confused by it. But in the end, I thought it was really good. Waking at four or less life, or... If you have one of the three little guys, I'm not going to say all their names, uh, well, Koitikai, uh, Panchia, and Bullard. I'm not going to say the rest of it. I, I, I have trouble saying the name. All red uh, are in your energy, Z energy, battle and or drop. You draw one card, switch up to one of your energies to active mode, and add cards from your life to your hand to get six left. So it's very easy to get in this deck using the one drops, and we'll get into those when we get there. Leader front side, when this card attacks, search top five. Add it to Universe 3. Among them to your hand, check your deck afterwards. Early game, you're pulling all the one drops out of your deck. So when you're using the swing, you're only seeing the threes, the fours, and the eight drop, which is actually really good. And like I said, I ended up liking that a lot. It does have an activate main, which is a once per game effect. But if your life is three or less, and you have four more energy in your and you send one Quincy Kai card, one Panchia card, and one Bowler card, all red, from your drop to your warp, play up to one red. It's the four drop uh, in your uh, of energy cost of four from your deck or drop shuffle your deck if you look through it negate this card scope for the game so it's a way of just kind of fetching out a I think it's a 15k card that could get some good good effect by putting cards underneath it and we'll go talk about that card in a bit I never really had a chance to use the activate main on this card but hey it's there in case you need it so we're gonna start with the Z deck because I feel like the Z deck is the most important part of this whole deck. And that starts with the two drop. This card was really strong. So for two energy, two Z energy, it's unique, has Z stack one, and you get to pull the four drop from your Z deck underneath it. When this card is played, though, you choose up to one Koitakai, one Panchi, and one Bowler card, all red from your hand, battle area, and or drop. Place them under this card until the end of your opponent's next turn. This card gains barrier. So depending on what you put underneath it, it's going to gain 5k or will neg cards out in your opponent's field. But regardless, now it has protection, so it won't go away during your opponent's turn. And a lot of times I would play this and not swing and just pass my turn. And that way, if they're trying to get rid of this 2-drop, they have to actually use extra cards or do something to kind of snipe it out of the way because they can't just swing into it. Activate main, limit 1 for 2 red energy. You place 3 cards underneath this card to the owner's drop, and you place 1 Paparoni card. Uh, from your hand or battle area in its owner's drop, and you play one and Zilla Z battle card from under this card, and you place this card underneath that card. And this is where the deck kind of takes off really well. This four drop is really strong. It is three Z and G if you want to play it straight from your Z deck, but it has deflecting double strike, so it is hitting the board. And then when this card is played, you draw one, you place pretty much those three cards you just put away, you put them right back underneath this card, and then this card gains barrier for the turn. And once per turn, when this card attacks, for every two cards underneath this card, you shoot to one of your opponent's battle cards or unison, and gets minus 30,000 power for the turn. That's really good, because on average, you get up to at least six very easily underneath this card. So actually, main, once per turn, place up to one re uh, Universe 3 card from your hand under this card. Additionally, if you, there are six or more cards under this card, this card gains a dual attack for the turn. A lot of times when you do that, you already have the two drop Z battle card underneath it, and you're adding four more cards, so that's already five. So by just activating the activate main, you now have six cards underneath there. You're getting the dual attack, and now you're going for um, negging out three of your opponent's cards. And for attacks, we, we play two of the rush attack Vegeta's. They are good for red if you get enough combo cards up there, but most times I don't really play the Vegeta. I just rely on this guy right here. Going to the deck, we're going to talk about the one drops first. Starting with Paparoni himself. Um, you need this as a 4-up because you need to see this go into the Z battle cards. That It's just super important. At least go into the 4-drop. But when this card is played, you draw one card. Activate main for uh, limit 1 for 1 red energy. If your leader is red universe card, you have 4 more energy. And you choose 1 red 
uh, Koichi Ator card in your battle area and place it under this card. Draw one card and play up to one red Analyze card from your hand on top of this card in active mode. So what's great about that is that the leader can play that for one energy. So it's another turn four play where you could just play him on the board. Um, then you pretty much you're paying two red energy overall to get the four drop out and then get him to use his effect. Koitsukai, these next couple one drops are just really searchers. They help you thin the deck out. And these numbers really can vary depending on who you talk to or what your game experience is. I play four Koitsukai, two Bowler, and two Panchia. And the reason being is because Koitsukai has a, an alternative effect where it's a Union Absorb for one uh, red energy. If your leader is Universe 3 card, and you choose one Panchia card and one Bowler card, both red from your hand. Battle layer and or drop, and you place them under this card. Uh, play up to one red Koichi Ator card with an energy cost of four from your deck or drop on top of this card. And then you should your deck if you look through it. So it's just, you really just play him, use the auto, which goes to your deck, and you pull out one of these guys. And then they, on play, will um, search out one of the other two guys. So, like, just by pl playing one of them on turn one, you're guaranteed to wake on turn two very easily. And I found running a 4 2 2 split works out great. Going into the three drops, I really wish these were 15Ks, but hey, I understand, I'm sure. Koizu Kai. Um, and they all have the same permit. All the three drops have the same permit where uh, for each red universe three card in your energy, you reduce the energy cost of the card in your hand by one, initially making them one cost cards. But the, oh, the Bullard and Panchia have permits. Which is very important. When this card is under an Analaza or a Quichator card, both red in your battle area, um, the card above has 5,000 power. So initially, just putting these two under your 2-drop or 4-drop Analaza, Analaza will make them either an extra 5k or 10k. That's important because the 3-drops have permanents where... Um, sorry, have autos, which kind of do other things when they're placed under cards. But yeah, permanent, reduced cost, which is nice. Auto when this card's played, look up top five cards of your deck, add up to one universe three card, and one of them to your hand, shuffle your deck afterwards. Secondary auto, when this card is placed from your hand uh, under an Analaza or a Koichi Hator card, both red in your battle area, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, and it gets minus 10,000 power per turn. It, pretty much, you could play the four drop Z battle card, uh, place one of the third the three drops underneath it, neg out, say, a secret red to 30, swings the Analyza, and then immediately just negs the secret by another 30k. Like, Analyza on its own by playing it and swinging, swinging with it once will take out a secret, which is really good. So, yeah, all the three drops have that uh, 10k minus effect. Bowler is a counterattack, which is really good because it is limit one, though, but it gains blocker for the turn, so it's like a blocker negate. So, initially, you just pay one, negate the attack, play this card. On their second swing, you block, and now it's in your drop as fuel for your Z battle cards afterwards. And we play three, the Panchia. It just it draws you a card in play. I never really play this card. I mean, I'd rather play Bo the Boletor instead and just kind of combo off Panchia or Koichi Kai. But Koichi Kai has a stronger effect if I were to play it. So, those are the three drops. For four drops... I play four of the Quay Chitors. Like, even though the leader has the effect to pull it from the deck, I'm always going to have one in my hand at all times because I play four of. But when this card is played, you play up to one red universe uh, three card with an energy cost of one from your hand or drop and rest. Those one drops do have effects on play, but they all say when this card is played from your hand. So you're just really putting that there just to kind of get it there. And... As I mentioned earlier, the one drop, but the benefit of playing this card is the one drop Quizakai, because then you could kind of play him, and then after you swing this card, you could use the Union Absorb to play the A drop on top of it. So, Activate Mean, Woman 1 for 1 red energy. If your leader is red, Universe 3 card, and there are one or more Quizakais, Planetias, or Boletors cards in all red in your Z energy battle area, drop area, and your opponent has two or more energy. You can play this card from your hand and place one red universe three card with energy cost of three or less underneath this card. So initially you can make it a 20k or you can make a card out by 10. And talking about the big eight drop Anzilla guy, we play three of those. It is a triple attack. You can, 
um, for three energy. If your leader is universe three card and your, your opponent has three or more energy, um, you can evolve on top of a red Kuitsukai. Not the three drop, sorry. Um, not not Kuitsukai, sorry. You can evolve on top of uh, the four drop. So, like, turn four, you can pay one for the leaders, but if you don't have one in your hand to play it, and then you would pay three to evolve on top of it. Uh, permanent when this, uh, when a red Kui, Kui 8, pretty much when the four drop is underneath him, uh, this card can attack battle cards in active mode. So, if you need to clear the board for any reasons, cool, but a lot of times you should try to close the game out if you're tapping that much energy. Auto limit one, if your leader is red universe three card and your opponent has four or more life when this card attacks your, uh, attacks an opponent's battle card, you do one damage to your opponent. That is the only benefit. It's a one-time effect though. So initially, you swing at a battle card, lose one life. I really never had a chance to play the 8-drop when my opponent had 4 life, four more life. So I just never really bothered with that effect. And a lot of times, like I said, I'm going for the Z battle card as a game in there. But it's just another option to have for trying to clear the board up. Going into the rest of the deck, which is more or less just kind of what I felt like was needed. Tech pieces and whatnot. So we're going to start with 1-hit Wonder Goku. Since you're negging cards out... It's just a free 15k you can play, so if your opponent's battle card's powers would decrease, if SS uh, Goku 1-hit wonder isn't in play, the battle you may play this card from your hand. And it activate battle for 1 red energy, uh, send this card from your drop to your warp, and choose one of your opponent's battle cards, and it gets minus 5,000 power for the duration of turn, which can come in handy. <coughs> because this deck's so reliant on the 1-drops, I play Gogeta, because not only does it search top 3 cards for your deck for a red card, add your hand, every, pretty much every card every card in this deck is actually red, so you're not going to whiff on that. And then, plus 2, you play a 1 drop battle card. And a lot of times you're just playing the 1 drops to just, for free, to fetch cards out of your deck. And then when you want to go into your Z battle card, oh, so when you want to go into the 4 drop Z battle card, you just do the plus 2, play the pop running from your hand, get a draw, and then you use the Z battle card effect to play the 4 drop. Because we are playing a unison, I, I mean, it's Yamcha. Three Wolfing Fist, and then I play one of the SS Son Goku Pan Trunks, just because it gives it an extra marker, but you can activate main for three energy. If you have four more energy, you can play this card for underneath a unison. So it's just another potential uh, game ender. Uh, you can activate the main, you can spirit boost three, you blow up the field practically, and then you give it triple attack for the turn. Extra cards, we play two of the tactical orders. It doesn't really come in handy a lot. I mean, I have, it, it was handy once when I was able to, uh, when I played the four drop, I paid one more to put two more cards underneath my, uh, I think it's two. <clears throat> if your leader's red, universe three card, choose the one where analyzes or yada yada is both red, battle area plays the two red, yeah. So I got to eight cards, so I was able to just sign, snipe four cards instead of having to snipe three. But it, you could use this deck without it. I've run a deck of 53 cards, so like you could take those two out and still be just fine. Three, testing the oppositions, just because there's no... I don't really have much other negates. I mean, I have the three wolf fang fists, which are either free or pay one for, and I play the blocker under negate, so it's kind of like another option for blocker negates. Super combos, we play Raditz because we just want to dig through the deck and get cards we want to our hand. And then we can put one drops back into our deck just to fish out later with the one drops free play using the Gogeta. Um, next two cards are kind of tech pieces. I have another one each of my sideboard, which I won't go over today. But uh, this Gohan Rare Red, it negs cards. It can gain double strike if you neck enough cards. It's one to play. And then the counterplay, Son Goku defeating the demon. It's double strike, it's a blocker for 20k. And then, Secret Rare, play SSB Vegeta. I really didn't know what else to play when it came to Secret Rare. And I was like, well, if I get my opponent somehow down to one life, I could just pay this on turn four instead, or even turn five. But that is my Universe 3 deck. Hope you all enjoy. Keep in mind, there's buttons, stuff in the description. If you feel like there's anything you would change different, let me know in the comments. All right, bye.